So having a company spokesperson, having some prepared statements, in effect, canned statements ready to go. You can just change the wording periodically. Uh, having on-site legal support doesn't mean you have to fly a lawyer in from your home office, but if you have identified local counsel at some local attorney who can represent you, help you negotiate you into a contract or into a site, and basically provide some degree of oversight that perhaps you don't overstep your bounds. And then medical, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of medical people around, but making arrangements that your people can receive treatment along with the other people is probably very important. If nothing else, it'll increase their morale. And the last point I wanna make is that, that you are there as an adjunct, even though you're working for, in effect, private clients, to the public authorities. So they will welcome you, they should welcome you, because you will take a burden off their shoulders, but you have to play the game according to their rules, at least to get yourself in and to function in a fashion that they're comfortable with. So maintaining some type of a li liaison or relationship with the local police, the state police, is absolutely critical. Uh, finding out what's going on in an area. Maybe it's too dangerous to send your people in because there's massive looting. And in the case of, of um, New Orleans, in the city itself, it was extremely dangerous for people to go in there at the time because the looting was, was so bad and the gunfire was so intense. Until the National Guard got a handle on things, it was a difficult situation. But the, probably the area where you're gonna get the most direction is what I have identified as local OEM, Office of Emergency Management. Virtually every state has it. It may be under their state, Department of Homeland Security, but that's the group that I think you start the process with in terms of we're interested in participating in setting up a program. Tell us what you, th you want us to do. And once you've crossed that hurdle, again, you can structure your response to provide your clients with an enhanced level of service, which ultimately leads to enhanced revenue, uh, more clients, and long-term relationships. But I think the key, and I put it down at the bottom, is all requires planning, preparation, and then implementation. I'm not gonna say it becomes easy, but you sure can't do it without the planning and preparation. Um, and a lot of the things, and I pointed to the cap modeling on the insurance side, a lot of this can actually be outsourced. You don't necessarily have to devote precious, valuable corporate resources, especially now, when dollars are stretched pretty thin. This can be outsourced, and a lot of these uh, requirements can be, in effect, developed for you and given to you as a plan. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.